They say on Lululemon bags that you should try something that scares you every single day. And I think we should all take advice from that Lululemon tote bag <laughs> and try something that scares us every day. Look who I'm with! Hi! Sierra! I'm so excited. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my god, of course. You're one of the like fashion queens on YouTube. But you are the fashion queen. No, I am. You. Well, I've like just ventured into fashion content like I feel like eight months ago. Like, but you've like, already taken it over. Like, I think your shopping videos are so interesting, especially because you add a whole new perspective to it. Thank and you. you have really cool style. Thank so you. it's really, it's really fun to watch. Well, we're doing a video over on Sierra's channel where we buy each other outfits. It's gonna be a whole thing. So I'll link that video below. Go check out her content if you haven't already. Oh, she makes you. such amazing stuff. Way more professional than we are here <laughs> on this channel. But we're gonna go head to the mall and we're gonna face our fashion fears. I'm excited but I'm nervous, so thank you for making me step outside of my fashion comfort zone. I am terrified of denim shorts, and I am terrified of thigh-high boots, and we're gonna do it all today. And I'm terrified of anything low-rise. Like, I would literally wear pants that went up to here if I could. Like, the highest rise possible. That's fair. And uh, bodycon skirts. I just have never been able to get past it, so maybe today's the day. All right, let's head to the mall and see what we can find. currently in American Eagle filming for Sierra's video and I thought I might as well get denim shorts while I'm here because they have them. I'm gonna ask for help because I haven't worn denim shorts in literally 10 years so I have no idea what to get. I'm getting stressed. I have stress in my chest just picking up a denim short. It's been so long. I've worn like a denim short like sporadically throughout the last like five, 10 years but like not really, you know? See, I think it might be fun to do the sunflower ones because it's more your style, where yeah. it's like not just denim. Like denim's kind of too boring for you. Like these are still denim and it's still conquering that beer, but it's making it fun and it's making it molly. Well, I think I'm gonna get like four pairs. Yeah. So I give myself a <laughs> chance to like try. That's a, that's a good idea. idea. Cause I can't just try one pair and then be like, oh, I did it and I hate it. Right, yeah. I have to try, try options to know if I'm gonna hate it or not. Got everything we needed at the mall and we're headed home to try everything on. Wish us luck. We just finished filming Sierra's video and now we're not we're just... being good YouTubers. <laughs> no, we're being very lazy. It's dark out. I'm tired, okay? We spent many hours walking around a mall. It's very exhausting. I'm in Molly's favorite comfy pants. How can I not be comfy? Exactly. We have tea. We have tea. Molly, listen to your mother. Up and get going. Good girl. Okay, so we spent a long time at the mall. A long time. I'm not complaining though. I no. know. I love a good girl shopping day. <laughs> Me too. And we got a lot of stuff. We just finished your video. I maybe I'm still wearing some of them all the uh, Same. These pants are unreal. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed. I know. I'm glad I could show you the light. I, I honestly feel like this is the peak of my existence. Life is all downhill after finding these pants. <laughs> That's how I feel about my reality. And it's definitely downhill now because we are facing our fashion fears. I am so nervous. So going into this video, I was going to try to find low rise jeans as my fashion fear. Literally nowhere sells low rise, which honestly I've tried low rise before. So we decided to pick a different fear that I actually haven't faced it all yet which is shift dresses, shapeless dresses, anything that doesn't define my waist. And immediately when she said that, I was like, well, then we should go to anthropology. And we did. Anthropology is the queen of a loose, flowy, <laughs> shapeless dress. And you know what? I saw this on the mannequin and I was like, oh, I like the way that looks with like, you know, a black brimmed hat, like something, you know, kind of more fall. Should we do it? Should I take it out? You should give them the show, the sneak peek. So we have this brownish orange and black kind of tie-dyed dress. And we already know that we're both returning all of this. It just, <laughs> it looks like a just big nothing. Like there's just, it's just fabric. It's just a shape, and it's just a sheet. This is actually in a large, which I'm usually in extra large. I don't think you'll have a problem. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is gonna be too tight on me. Well, that's why they were always an issue for me because I'm so short 
and I'm an extra small on top, I can't size down. Right. And all her stuff, I would need to size down. My problem with this kind of stuff is I have a bigger chest, and these things will just hang off my boobs and literally make me look like I'm wearing a tent. Like, yeah, I could I have just, a family of five sleep under my dress. I just drown. <laughs> I just, like, absolutely drown when I wear something too oversized because I'm short and I'm petite on top. Yeah. And then all my size is in the hips, so I need to, like, emphasize what's good and flow around what's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not as confident. But I'm not as confident about. So, that's your first That's challenge. my first. I bought five pairs of denim shorts. And I'm so excited to see you rock them. Because I think you're gonna look freaking cute as everything in these. Because I think once you try them, you're gonna realize that they're not that scary. Okay, well, here's the thing. And this is like my own thing. You know, we all have insecurities. Absolutely. And for me, even when I was a double zero, I was insecure about my thighs. And now I'm a size four, right? So think in your mind, like I've been 25 pounds since being a double zero and I was insecure about my thighs then. So like now, yeah. that's where all my weight went, was thighs, butt, hips. Yeah. And part of it is also like, like I'm 25, you know, I'm not 18. When I was growing up, the Kardashian body wasn't cool. No. When I was growing up, pear shape wasn't hot. No. It was like, oh, you're fat. You know, you've got a big butt. Like my friends are always joke like, oh, I know when you gain weight when your butt gets bigger because boobs were the thing. Yeah. I, I had no boobs and big hips and that wasn't the trendy cool body. And I think that's why it's so important to like, I mean, not to get all like up on my soapbox, but to find that like worth and that confidence in what's beautiful and what's in in yourself mm -hmm. because there's going to be 8 million different trends of what body is ideal through our lifetime. And if you just keep trying to change your body to fit that, exactly. then the next trend's going to come and you're going to be like, oh, it's not cool to have a butt anymore well and the thing is it's like now people are going under the knife getting things mm -hmm. like bbls brazilian butt lifts and dying from it yeah and you're like you're dying for a trend like yeah. a body trend. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to face this fear because I want to learn to like love my thighs in denim shorts and not be afraid of them. Yeah. Because I haven't truly worn denim shorts in years. And when I have, it's been like, oh, I'll put them on and then I take them off. Like, yeah. Because I just don't feel good. So I want to challenge myself. That's why I bought five pairs. You suggested the mom style. I did. And yeah. American Eagle literally said they have this out for like 10 days in 10 stores around the country where they're trying out the mom short to see if they should bring it in next spring. So I'm gonna be here to give an opinion of to whether they should bring it in next spring. I'm excited. I think once you try it, you're gonna realize that like, oh, the world doesn't end when I wear denim shorts. Like it's not as scary. As, Cause yeah. you work it up in your head and you're like, I could never wear that. And then you try it on and you're like, maybe it's not my favorite, but like, and it's such it's an, an everyday head. thing. Like most people wear it every day. I do. I pretty much almost never wear shorts. Mm -hmm. And if I like actually venture into wearing a short, it's like a sweatpant loose flowy short mm -hmm. or like a tight at the waist paper bag flowy short like if i ever do wear a short which i'd say i live in la and probably this summer i maybe wore shorts maybe three days really yeah well today's the day today's so, number four <laughs> today we're getting into it so we're both in very different looks right now mm -hmm. equally uncomfortable so i collaborated with lisa schwartz a while ago and she taught me a word which is schmata which just means like a big nothing like a big rag just hanging off your body. And I feel like that's the only word I can use to describe this. You could belt it. I, that's the thing. I could belt it and then it would be cute, but that totally erases the fashion fear. Like my mom was saying, you could put like a cool necklace, mm -hmm. some funky bangles, a cute boot, a nice brown bag. A great lipstick. Yeah. You like, could make it work. I think just, I look great. When I look at the silhouette, there's just no silhouette. Like I look just like a big blob. And I feel like that is my ultimate fashion fear. Of like, I am very confident in my size. Like I'm totally happy being a bigger girl, but I want to show that shape and I want to show my body. And I feel like when I wear something like this, that's just a big yuck of fabric. I'm like, I go back to that time where I just wanted to cover up and I'm like, I want to show my body. So it's like, good. give me a belt, give me a lipstick, give me something. It's just a lot of nothing. How do you feel? All right. So <coughs> these are the shorts. I think those look so cute on you. They're so cute. These are the mom shorts. So I like that they're loose. Like it's like there's a gap, you know? I like that. It's not like clinging to my thigh. And that's what I like is, about mom shorts. Yeah, that's what I don't like about denim shorts. And like I said, I haven't worn shorts denim shorts in years. Yeah. And mom things weren't trendy. <laughs> so when I was buying denim shorts years ago, it was all like skin tight. I call them denim diapers. <laughs> like they're yep. literally like so short, the booty's hanging out, everything's on display, it's skin tight. Like, like that was the thing. Yeah. And so for me,
me it was like uncomfortable. Whereas these, I feel like I do like, cause it's kind of like, you know, even on the butt, like it just kind of like- Yeah, it's flows. looser fitting. It's looser fitting. So I feel like it still shows my booty, but then it's like loose on the thigh, which is my insecurity. Yeah. Like is my, the part of my body that I'm like a little more insecure about. And usually mom things aren't stretchy. Mm -hmm. They're like that really stiff material, which is difficult as a girl who's like a 26 on the waist, but a 36 on my hip. Right. Because it's like, okay, it's either gonna get over my hips and be baggy on my waist or fit my waist and like, I can't even get it over my thighs. Mm -hmm. So these being stretchy really helps that because I still get the mom looseness on the thigh, but it fits on my waist. Yeah. I'm usually in American Eagle a four if they don't have stretch and a two if they do have stretch. But when I used to buy buy shorts, I used to go up a size anyways. So even when I was a double zero, I'd buy a zero. If I was a zero, I'd buy a two. Mm -hmm. So even though these are stretchy and I would typically buy a stretchy jean in a two, I decided to buy them in a four. I think I could have worn a two, but I'm also happy in the four. You know what I think you might like is I know American Eagle, Hollister, Target, and a few other brands have a curvy short yes. where it's meant for someone with that smaller hip to waist ratio. Yeah. That might be better for you. Yes. I know my friend Iskra Lawrence, she keeps telling me like, you need to try the curve jeans, you need to try the curve short. So maybe if you guys would be interested, comment down below, let me know, would you be interested in seeing me do like a review on curve shorts and jeans? Because I feel like when people hear like a curve jean or a curve short, they don't look at me and be like, oh, she's curvy. Yeah, but it's about the proportions. But it's about my proportions. Like I call myself curvy. Yeah. I think I'm curvy because no, I don't have big boobs, but like, I've, like I'm a 26, 36. That's yeah. a big ratio difference that's 10 inch difference from just my hip to waist. And that's what I like about brands making the curvy jeans and the curvy shorts in every size different two, size. Size size zero. That you can be a size 24 and be curvy and a size zero and be curvy because it's about the ratio. Exactly. And it, like, that's what I always say is whenever I say I'm curvy, people are like, you're plus size. I'm like, I'm both. Thank you though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm both and proud. Thanks. Yes, exactly. Even at my skinniest, when I was 25 pounds lighter than this, I had hips. Yeah. And it was just bone. There was no fat on them, but I but had, had hips. hips. <laughs> because that's my bone structure. Right. Like, that's how my body is built. It's you, built with hips. You might like the curvy shorts. I know. Maybe I should try those next. But what do you think, Mom? I like all these buttons. Yeah, I think they're lovely. Like, and we were looking for those. Do you yes, remember? years ago. We years used ago, to we go in and these. just look for them, and but they, they didn't exist. I feel like with a heeled booty in the fall. So cute. Yeah. And a sweater, like a chunky sweater. A chunky sweater. sweater and a heeled boot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a fall fit. Oh, my God. I might do it. <laughs> okay. I just tried on like another pair since I told you guys I bought five. And these are them and everybody says they like these better. Those are so Molly. Those are so cute. I love those on you. And they're so flattering. Really? Yes. Do you think they're flattering? I do. Yes. They're lovely. They're your personality. They're so cute on your figure. I think those are the solution to the fashion fair. They're like loose still which is nice. Like I have some room on my waist, but I would prefer to go up to a four. Like I bought these in a four as well. I would rather have room in the waist and felt it than I've gotten a two, which might've still fit, but been like tighter on my waist. I wanna be able to go eat if these don't have stretch in them. These shorts are literally like my ideal shorts. Like they're paper bag waist, they're loose fitting. And I mean, of course I'm gonna think they look cute on you. They're like right up my alley. <laughs> They don't look too like baggy on my belly. No. No. They're lovely, they lovely color. Yeah, really good behind. I think I got these in a two, did I, or a four? Two. There you go. Honestly, I could have gone to a zero in these. I sometimes look at a size chart and it's just such a blanket. Like it's just like 26 to 28, size four. Like it's so one thing. And I think every single clothing piece fits differently, which is why I've always preferred shopping in store than online. Because I know some people hate trying things on, but to get clothes that truly fit well and flatter your body, you have to try things on. Everything, depending on the fabric, the cut, the store, the style, is gonna fit differently. I do really like them. Those with a crop top, that'd be such a cute outfit. With a spray tan. Jacket, like yes. a jacket. With a spray tan. <laughs> but like, I didn't even have to undo these to get them no, on. No, that's what's so Which nice about so nice. elastic waist. You were like saying how you want to be able to like eat in things yeah. and move and you totally can in those. I might end up keeping all of these shorts. What the heck? Yeah. I've overcome my fashion fear just by trying something. <laughs> these also have no stretch. So I think I bought these in a four. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they definitely have like room mm -hmm. on the waist there. But again, I can belt that. And I don't even need to because my hips keep them up. <laughs> I can also fully roll these down if I wanted to. I don't know how that looks. It gives it more of that like vintage mom short look. Like you look very 50s. 
I like it actually. Yeah, 50s. Yeah, like you could go on a date and like ride a Ferris wheel in a carnival. I don't know. Let me know. Which ones should I keep and which should I return? What's your next thing? All right, my next thing. I honestly, Molly, you have to know I love you because I bought this and I'm going to wear this on camera. I got a white tight fitting bodycon skirt, like an elastic fitted pencil skirt. The good thing is it's a tight or it's a thick one. Yeah, like that's really true. Thick, so at least it shouldn't be like see-through. See -through. You know, whereas most white skirts, that would be the biggest fear too. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's quality. It is quality. I'll give it that. Way to go, Aritzia. Yeah, this was my first venture into Aritzia. And I mean, it's a white bodycon skirt, so how good can it be? But it feels really nice. Also, I think the only way I could even imagine styling something like this that I would feel good and confident in like myself in would be with like a loose fitting tied t-shirt to kind of dress it down. Cause also I'm a pretty casual person. And like I, I told you, I was like, you need to do a, a yep. t-shirt and tie it in and out with this. Cause it'll look so cute. I wish I could have found a band tee, but at Madewell, we found this blue, just kind of like t-shirt. And this is my favorite color. Oh, it's really soft. And I think it could work well with the white. That's funny to me. That's mint. mint I guess green? it is. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a mint green. Think of it as like a sky blue. Well, is it mint or is it blue? The blind girl wants to know. <laughs> See, and I would say that's like a mint turquoise. Ooh. So, so you get three different interpretations get of the color. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's also slightly colorblind, so we can never really trust Comment below what color is this shirt. It's like the dress from like 2015. Yes. All right, finally for me. This is even more of a fashion do not in my mind than the denim short for me. Really? Like, denim shorts I just like never go towards. Like I'll just never, I don't buy them. I don't even bother trying them on, but at least I used to. Whereas this, hard pass, hard no. And I love the look on other people. I think there's multiple ways in which in my wardrobe, I think, oh, I would love a thigh high boot for that. But like, I would never do it because of multiple reasons. One, I'm so short that it like cuts me off. Like it makes me look even shorter. Like it just chops my leg, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, she has no leg. <laughs> like no no torso and I'm short so it's like well now I've just disappeared yeah and then the other reason is because all my weight like I said is in booty hips and thighs and the band has to like be tight enough to not slip down but that means it's also tight enough that the thigh fat is spilling out yeah so I tried like a knee a thigh high sock and that was thigh fat century <laughs> and even just when I was testing these on in the store to like try to slip it on to see if it would at least fit my foot I was like yep my thigh fat is going to be spilling over the top of those even if if point number one was gone. Yeah. Even if I tried them on and you're like, oh, it actually doesn't cut you in half. My thigh fat would still be spilling out. See, here's what I think you have to do. And I wasn't with you when you bought these, mm -hmm. so I wasn't able to give my two cents, but I'll give it now. I'm a thick thigh girl, but I have two pairs of thigh high boots that I love. The key is get ones that tie at the top so that you can adjust them mm -hmm. for your thigh circumference. <laughs> so I have ones that go like- Your thigh conference? Like, yeah, your thigh conference, exactly. So I can pull them up over and then tie them so that they don't slide down. I think that's the key. They didn't have any like that. Aww. So that wasn't an option. <laughs> They're just like, here, I'll, give, yeah, you, I'll give you the show. Give me the tour. So every pair I looked at was like quite similar to this. These ones are from Aldo. So it's like a little little heel. Cute. I almost went with a higher heel, but I was like, I don't think that's even maybe gonna go up like on my thigh. <laughs> um, and, but there's nothing. Like it's just, yeah. and there's like a rubber inside oh. to try to keep it up. Yeah, those would not fit my thighs. That's what I'm saying. The ones I have have like a, a, an elastic here. And yeah. then you untie it and then tie it tight. See, I saw the one, there was ones at Nordstrom that had an elastic in the back. Yeah. But I'd already bought these and I was like, well. Well, I'm excited to see you rock them. Cause I think no matter what, I think they're gonna look really cute on you. All right, let's give it a go. So why are you guys wearing matching scrunchies? In case you're wondering, <laughs> cause my mom is awfully concerned. We're wearing matching scrunchies because we just finished filming Sierra's video on her channel and we wore matching scrunchies in the video. Molly picked these out and I'm obsessed. So I didn't want to take it off. Thank and you. I think it adds to it. I think it gives us a little something extra. Our twin vibes. I just put my shoe on the wrong foot. <laughs> I never do that. You can tell I'm tired. Do you think I look? Oof. I say, whatever, whatever. I'm tired too. Uh, pull the shirt oh no. So it's like the thigh it's fat yeah. is coming. She's coming. Ah, ah. Oh. Okay, okay. Let me take in the whole. Are you ready for I'm the ready. thigh fat? Embrace the thigh fat. You see that? That's that bulging thigh fat. Is it comfortable? Does, Does it, it look comfortable? No. Look at that bulge there. Is it like cutting off the circulation? It's just spilling. It's just <laughs> like, it's like, it's like a muffin top, but a thigh top. A thigh top. I think the look is so cute. Just like forget about the thighs for a sec. That with like the Gucci shirt dress, so cute with your hair and everything. Like 
so cute on you. I think you just have to try boots that have the elastic and it'll be a game changer. <laughs> I'm poking my thigh. <laughs> I mean, how do people walk around with their knees like this? You know, like, doesn't it get like, it's like restrictive on the knee bend. Also, these are a six and a half and I'm a size five. That's how you knew I was only buying these with the knowledge of returning them. <laughs> Did not care if they fit me. I think you need to give it another try with ones with the elastic. Cause I think that's going to be the game changer. But do you think it like cuts me in a weird, like, don't I look? I don't. I think as long as you have the bit of skin showing between the hem of the dress and the boots, then it doesn't cut you. I think if the boots went up higher than the dress, then I could see how that would happen. But I think when you show that bit of skin in between, it breaks it up. Any thoughts, mom? It's cute. Like it really is cute. But Sierra is absolutely right, and I was trying to find ones that did have that. They're hard to find. Top. Like just like it's weird. Like all size five feet have the same <laughs> size thigh. No, because that's not how bodies work. Like I just don't understand this concept of just like yeah, just pull it up. Yeah, it's not a pair of pants. But I think that goes back yeah. to that most brands make all of their clothes with one body in mind. But the reality is, ninety nine percent of women who buy those clothes, even if they have a smaller petite figure like you, it's not gonna work. That's the thing. It's like. If I'm a size to two to four and I'm like, this doesn't work for me. It would never work so for me. So this would only work for like a zero to double zero. And even like I said, even when I was a zero to double zero, all my weight was still in my thighs. Right. So even then it might not have worked for me. Yeah. It which just, is crazy. It's just made for a very small percentage of people. Yeah. With a certain thigh circumference. 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 This is a new word. <laughs> all right. Flight attendant Sierra reporting for duty. Make sure to put all of your restraints on and your baggage up above. Put your air mask on yeah. before you assist before others. You assist others. It's a good life lesson for all of us, really. See, the, <gasps> the skirt is, I mean, I'm not comfortable, but I will say I like it better than I like the shapeless dress. I would rather have something really, really hugging my tummy, which is an area that I'm still like learning to love, than just cover it all up. I'd rather show areas that I'm still working on loving than cover everything up. I like that. I think it's like show it off and embrace it yeah. instead of like hide it. You know what? Okay, this goes back to years ago, I stopped wearing push-up bras. I was always really self-conscious about having small boobs and wearing push-up bras actually made me hate having small boobs even more. Cause you were because you were Because it, remi it reminded me of what I don't have and what I wanted, which is a bigger boob. To, when I put a push-up on, it like made me look like I had big boobs. So then when I would take the push-up bra off I hated my small boobs even more yeah and when I stopped wearing push-up bras and just started wearing like the thinnest lace bralettes I was like oh my boobs are just fine yeah when you just like embrace what you do have it's easier to love it mm -hmm. than when you pretend you don't have it yeah because then when you're reminded that you do you hate it even more that's exactly it and I think that's why when I put on something that's so shapeless I'm like oh my gosh like why does my body look like this and then when I wear something that's tight fitting whereas I I think a lot of people would assume that someone who's plus size doesn't want to wear a bodycon skirt but I'm like yeah I have a stomach and that's fine and maybe I'll show it off a little bit but I think my problem with this skirt is the length it goes all the way down to my knees I think it's a little too buttoned up for me you could get it taken up yeah I think if I went for a darker color I think white's not it but maybe above the knee and then rocked it and just like you said just kind of embraced that and acknowledged it I think bodycon skirts might not be so scary. So I think this might be the first step into me trying bodycon skirts and facing that fashion fear. But that's not the one. But this isn't the one. Kind of like you with those boots. Yeah. You're both getting there. We're getting yeah, there. Yeah, and that's the point in trying something new. They say on Lululemon bags that you should try something that scares you every single day. And I think we should all take advice from that Lululemon tote bag. <laughs> and try something that scares us every day. And we just tried multiple things that scared us today and we're overcoming it. We survived. We persevered. All right, let's wrap this stuff up. <sighs> I'm ready to go put on those comfy pants. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> that was like therapeutic. It was in a weird way. Like I feel like I'm so much more open to denim shorts than I've been in, I can't even remember how long. Well, they look so cute on you. You should be open to them. Thank you. Like I feel like it's just about branching out and trying new styles that maybe didn't exist last time I went because I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like 
I am so much more open to bodycon skirts. I think, you know what, the shapeless dresses, I'm just accepting that fashion fear and saying, you know what, I'm not gonna try those. And skirt. I feel like that about the thigh high boots. Yeah. Like, it's okay that they're not for me. Yeah. I'm okay with it. And that's fine. Not everything has to be for everyone. And, and that's like what's so important about knowing like your body, your personal style, what colors work for you and don't. Because it can get so easy to get sidetracked by trends. Mm -hmm. Or when you follow people who make fashion content to be like, oh, I need that and I need that and I need that and I'll try that and I'll do that. But if it's not you, don't don't bother like it's a, it's okay it's important to try new things but you don't have to buy it just because everybody else is wearing it like yeah. if that doesn't look good on you or it's not your style or that color doesn't suit your skin tone like that's cool yeah find what makes you feel confident and go with that push outside your comfort zone and sometimes you're gonna find things that you still hate after you try them and that's okay too. but sometimes you'll fall in love and also I think it's important as our bodies continually change throughout our lives whether we're you know losing weight gaining weight staying in the middle, getting pregnant, post baby body, like whatever, wherever you're at in your body journey, you know, working on fitness, not, you know, it's important to always try new things because you never know how as your body changes, the fit and the style might change that now suits your body that never did before. And you're like, oh, I'll never wear that. Yeah. And a big thing I have to constantly remind myself is like, my body isn't the problem. The clothes are the problem. Mm -hmm. Like if the thigh high boots don't work, it's not your thighs. It's the fact that the boots are just too small. Yeah. Thighs aren't too big. Boots are too small. Move on somewhere else and spend your coin where it's worth it. Uh, greed. This has been so fun. Again, linked below to all of Sierra's social stuff. Oh, thank you. All of the things. Check her out. She's really amazing. She does such body positive content. Such great fashion reviews. Thank you. And don't forget, tomorrow my merch drops. It's so good. You guys are seriously not going to want to miss this. I was like in awe. I was like, these are so freaking cute. They're so good. Thank you. Have you shown what they are yet? Or is it still a secret? They've seen sneak peeks, but they don't necessarily know that they've seen sneak peeks. Oh, let me just say, you're going to love it. Yay. <laughs> okay. I love you guys so much. Good night. Bye. <sighs>